Hello, uh, welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to help you get started with VATSIM and connect to the, to the network for your first flight. First of all, you can spawn yourself in, in VATSIM, or no, sorry, in your flight simulator. Make sure to not spawn on any of the runways since this can cause a disruption when you connect to the network. Currently I'm parked at CYVR in the general aviation uh, apron. Next, you can go to your desktop. I am currently running Xplane, so I use the Xpilot pilot client for Xplane. Of course, there's many different clients that are designed for each flight sim that you use. I'm currently using Xplain, so I'm just going to open this up. Okay, this is something that you will get when you open it up. I've used it before, so it may not look exactly the same. If you have Xplain open, it should say Xplain connection established. But first, what you need to do, you will have to register to the VATSIM network. And to do this, you can uh, go to the VATSIM website, make an account, and do all the necessary things to make your account. Then you'll be get, getting an email that includes these important details. The CID and your password. Th these can be found in the email, and all you need to do is copy and paste them and enter them here your name, your home airport, and the server that you will most likely be using. That is not where you're flying, but that is your current location that your computer is being connected to. That is important. Next, you have to set up your microphone device and your output device. I currently have it set up to the Realtek Audio, my microphone, and the output device is my headphones. You don't want that because you want it to be as realistic as possible. But make sure that you set your con uh, correct devices. Next, what's really important is to use the push to talk button. Currently, I have it set on my yoke on the black button to the left, which is that's the perfect place to put it and is almost realistic. So you can configure this to anything that you want, but this is what you use to first connect to first to talk. This can be adjusted so that you stay in the green box. So test, 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 test. Almost in the green box. Test, test. I'll bring it up a bit. Test, test, test. Okay. So that is perfectly, perfectly aligned, and that should work. Then you click apply, and OK. Then, once you're in Xplain and you've, you've spawned, you can go back to Xplain, you will click connect. And you will have to enter a call sign, the type of aircraft that you're using. I'm going to keep it at November 251 Charlie Echo. And if you're struggling to find a realistic name, you can always go to the outside of your plane and look at the call sign that is on the outside. It's not the same as you can tell, but that will get you a realistic call sign. Next, you're going to click connect. Your pro yours will probably be in standby mode. Call sign your aircraft. I'm, for example, in an SF five zero oh, five zero Cirrus SF fifty. I click that. Cell call is for long distance flights. That's unnecessary if you're just getting started. But what you can do to get started is to connect in shared cockpit mode. If you want to find another plane, 
and listen on to what they're saying and what they're doing. That's a good way to get started and just wrap your head around the concept. But I don't want to do that today. I'm going to click connect. There is a tower frequency on and that will show up here here. Now I'm going to go to 118.7. Back to my flight. I currently have a G1000 so I'll turn that on. Now that I'm in here, let's go with that. This is your comm frequencies. I think I said 118 decibel 7. Let's just check if that's correct. 118 decimal 7. So, then what could you can do when you know it's the right frequency? Just check that everything is working and the frequency the uh, controller can hear you. You can press your push to talk button and say uh, radio November 251 Charlie Echo, your call sign, and then you say radio check. So I'm going to do that right now. November 251 Charlie Echo radio check. Copy that, uh, November 251, Charlie Echo. So, that's all you need to do to get started, and that's how you connect to the network. Of course, there are many different videos that can help you learn the basics of ATC. But, that will conclude the video for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope your uh, flying in Vatsim brings you someplace, and I hope you get better. And I hope this video does help you get better and help you connect to the network in the first place. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.